We're going to watch a movie called Devil Times 5, and it's a pretty fucking cool movie, too. Let's check it out. This is Rick and Julie. They're going up to the mountains to spend time with her father. Meanwhile, on the same mountain roads where they're headed, this bus is going off the road. Not on purpose. And they crash. Now the maniac drivers don't deserve metal. It's a bus full of kids. Meanwhile, they arrive, and the guy in blue there is Papa Doc. That's Harv, is played by Sorrel Book, Boss Hog himself. Back to the five kids from the bus. They are now wandering. Turns out there was a survivor, though. Driver was dead, but this guy apparently is still alive. This is Ralph. And this is lovely, Papa Doc's woman. And she's teasing him. He's kind of a caretaker of the place, and he's slow. Lovely also uh, taunts Julie, Rick's girl, saying, I slept with your husband once before, and I can have him any time I want to. Then we got ourselves a cat fight. Kids have found their way into the property. He's getting closer. Are you sure he won't take us back? We're never going back there. So the guy found his way into where the kids are hiding, and they start attacking the shit out of him. In slow motion. So clearly these are really, really bad kids. They beat him to death. Meanwhile, Rick and Julie are getting hot and heavy. I'll have to do a cut away here so you can't see your boobies, but they're nice. State Mental Hospital, that explains a lot. Well, the kids go into the house where they are promptly discovered. Rick, where? I, I don't know. We walked all night. That's one of their... You here all by yourself? One of the kids yeah. thinks she's a nun. All the time? Must be lonely. Oh, I don't care. Julie suspects something weird about those kids. A young Leaf Garrett plays one of the kids. Nice try, David. If you're a good boy, I might give you another crack at it. Guess what kind of fish Papa Doc has? Right. The piranha. They can strip the skin off a man's bones in 20 seconds. Oh, that's a great bedtime story. The next day, Rick finds Ralph. <laughs> Blame the kids on that one. We're too isolated for anybody to get up here. I'm sure it's not us. Are you sure? What do you mean? What about those kids? The kids have messed with the car, too. Back already? The rotor's missing on the car. I don't know what's going on around here, but I think we better get everybody together. Well, I'll get them into the living room. Apparently, Leaf Garrett is some sort of 12-year-old cross-dresser, too. Those guns 
damn sure it didn't walk off with himself. Well, I've looked all over for them, and I can't find them. And I got something else to show you. Outside, David was helping Boss Hog chop wood. How'd it happen? I think he threw it at him. Who threw it? Meanwhile, upstairs, Lovely is taking a bath. They hold her down, and then they pour tr piranha in with her. They find the remnants later. They're dragging her body outside in the snow. That's a sword he has on his swing there. And that's the end of Papa Doc. They toss gasoline on Boss Hogg's wife and start her on fire. These are awesome kids, huh? The next day they find a way to get Julie. Kids playing the snow with Papa Doc's body until such time that they can go after Rick. They lure him outside, but watch where you step, Rick. And then they brutally finish him off. Bodies are lined up and it's time to go. That's our movie. Alright, let's talk about Devil Times 5, or as the opening title screen here said, The Horrible House on the Hill, also known as People Toys. It came out in 1974. Now, this is a movie that I had on beta tape. Had on had it on a beta tape, which I taped probably 1986 or something like that. I believe I rented this from a place called Lloyd's Electronics, or Lloyd's, Lloyd's Video, something like that. It was in Two Rivers, Wisconsin, where I lived at the time. And I had it on the same tape with Daddy's Deadly Darling, also known as Pigs, and Night of the Demon. Devil Times 5 was the third movie on there. I didn't watch any of them, actually. I just taped them, recorded them, copied them, and then they sat on a shelf for years. I finally watched all three of them one night, probably around 1995 or so. And... Um, I watched the first two first, Daddy's Deadly Darling and Night of the Demon, and I thought both of those were just dull and slow, and I was just, ugh, how can I keep watching these movies like this? And then I watched Devil Times 5, and I, it, it just perked me up, because I'd never seen it before, and I thought it was fantastic. We have five killer kids, and they're brutal. Um, this bus with these five mental kids, or there's some sort of mental institution or something, I don't know, uh, some sort of mental hospital, and the bus crashes, um... The kids get out and they wander around. Now the guy who was driving the bus, uh, some sort of orderly or something, he's gravely injured and uh, we see him later on. But the kids end up wandering to this house in the wilderness. It's snowy out. Uh, this house is owned by this guy named Papa Doc who rules with authority. He's got his wife there and his daughter and his I guess, future son-in-law and uh, another couple. Uh, and um, Sorrel Book actually, whose boss hog is in this as well. And I don't know what they're doing there. They're just, I guess, spending a weekend uh, or something like that. And the kids just show up. And then the, once the kids get there, they one by one start killing off the adults in the house in brutal ways. One of them they burn to death. One of them is in a bathtub and they dump piranha on her because uh, Papa Doc had some piranha in a tank. Um, there's one girl who they uh, throw like a, this spear into her throat. Uh, and the last guy who survives... Uh, um, they set up a trap for him, a bunch of like bear traps, and they covered him with snow. So when he walked outside, he started walking into these things, and they got him. And then they killed a sorrel book, a boss hog with an axe. Um, just a lot of brutality going on in this movie. And these kids, these kids are some nasty ass kids. And um, it's just a fun, fun film. I don't know how else to describe it. Um, I got to give some kudos to Code Red who put this Blu-ray out. It looks absolutely fantastic. Um, never looked so good before. It's just great. I, I really enjoy this film. I try to watch this every couple of years. Um, the kids, uh, two of the kids are played by, uh, Leif Garrett, uh, who became a pop star a few years later, and, um, his little sister's in this. Also, the kid's mother played, uh, Lovely, who was the, uh, wife or mistress of Papa Doc in this movie. Uh, she had, um, a couple of nude scenes in this movie, too, which must have been kind of odd to have a nude scene with your kids on the set, right? But anyway, that's what happened. 
In fact, there was a scene where the kids were dragging their mom's nude body outside. And it was like, that's just weird uh, to, to film that, but whatever, right? Also, a little tidbit here. A couple, they went through a couple directors. Uh, this one director named Sean McGregor or something like that started the film. And uh, the girl who plays uh, Sister Hannah, the one who's pretending to be a nun, I guess, was allegedly an underage girlfriend for the director. I don't know if there's any truth to that at all, but that's what IMDb says. Um, but then that director uh, left or got fired or something, and then another director took over, and then uh, we have this final result here. But anyway, this is a really cool movie. It's a cool Blu-ray. There's a lot of cool extras on here, which I have not seen yet, but I do want to see because it's got um, some audio commentary. It's got some interviews. That there's a featurette. This just sounds kind of cool. Um, it's just a cool movie. If you haven't seen this one, I'd definitely check it out. I'm going to leave a link to Amazon if you want to buy this film. And I'd say you should buy it because it's really, really cool. It's a fun movie. Like I said, I try to watch it every couple of years and it never disappoints. So check it out. Devil Times 5, let me know what you think about it. Leave some comments. Watch it.